Hello and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is a game I've been looking forward to for a while, so I can't wait to get started. If you don't know what it is, it is an RPG set in Bohemia and it is historically accurate. That's about all I know as well, so I'm just going to click start game and I'm going to play the opening cutscene. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son. Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now with his son, Wenceslas, the idol on the Bohemian throne, it was falling into disarray. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility as well as his half-brother King Sigismund of Hungary, who decided to take drastic steps to restore the empire. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. 
quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Well, Henry! I'm guessing that's us. Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> Where started unexpected visit. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Oh, okay, so this is where we get our first choice and where we get to choose what kind of character we want to be, what kind of uh, stats we want to have. Interesting. Um, well, I think we should be slightly good at fighting, would be my guess. That seems like it may come up at some point. But you know what? I, I want to be good at talking. So, you know what? We were just chatting in the tavern all night. Oh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So, I'm guessing the suspicious looking character was that uh, one that we saw with his... Was that, I'm guessing, Knight we saw with uh, his guards, maybe? I don't know. Or, like, the rest of his group. Um, the one who was all clad in fancy armour. I don't know. Um, let's just try and deflect. Let's just say, what does it matter? So, I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. <sighs> God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. All right. Uh, let's um, ask if, where my friends are, see if they've been around looking for us. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. I can tell she does not approve. Um, let, let's, let's just play the, uh, you know, the kind of, oh, come on, mother, kind of character. Just stop, stop making, stop judging me and my friends kind of thing. Mother... You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the forge on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. You know, I think we're going to try and stick with our friends. He's, he's trying to convince us away. We're, we're going we're gonna to very much stick with them. Um, yeah, let's, let, let's uh, ask if she's got any food. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah. Is our father very angry at us? Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. 
I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Interesting. So, um, that mis suspicious character was not Sir Radzig, who was obviously the knight that we saw at the beginning. He's someone we haven't seen yet. Matthias. Okay. Um, do you need help? Do you need me to do anything, ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay, so... She doesn't so much, um... She, she's not... Does, she doesn't uh, think that we're a layabout and useless. She just thinks our friends are layabouts and useless. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, alright. So, we can now move around and have a look at the game proper. They said there was breakfast on the table. Let's see what we got. We got some cheese. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, there's our cheese. We do kind of do this odd grabbing things motion, but that's fine. Oh, we could also eat from the pot. Let's see what else he's got for us. Apples. Nice. More apples. More apples. Oh, can't quite reach that one. There we go. More apples. What have we got here? Bread. Definitely have that. We've got to stock up on food before we, we go anywhere else. Oh, God. I didn't mean to sit down. Oh, that is... Uh, that's weird. Oh, that's where we'd access our inventory. Nice. Um... Oh, I'm going to stand up again, because uh, the food's at the other side of the table, but that might be a better way to get it. Right, let's see if we can sit down at this side of the table. Yeah, um, oh, or not. Nope, uh, I was mistaken. We are not able to sit at the other end of the table. This was our option. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll uh, have the lentil soup, have some apples, have some more apples. Have some more apples. I hope you like apples. We got bread rolls. And I think that's everything on that table. So it said over here that we can drop things into the pot or we can eat from the pot. Let's eat from the pot. Oh, okay. So that is fully... Um, that's got rid of our hunger as we can see in the bottom bar. Okay. Weird. Well, do we have some kind of journal or some... Oh, yes we do. Fantastic. Um, I started getting in some, as, okay, let's see. I started getting in some training in sword fighting from the mercenary turned up in Scalitz, uh, recently. Father and mother mustn't find out. For some reason, they don't want me to learn how to defend myself. I got a bit of a cut in yesterday's lesson, though. We're supposed to meet by the alehouse again today. Alright, so we'll need to go and, uh, make sure we go to that lesson. I have to go to the father. I promised I'd help him with his work. We finally got some fine spring weather, but I still slept late in the morning because I was out celebrating until late in the evening. It was a bit hard getting out of bed in the morning. Okay. Do you have any other quests, like side quests? Nope. Activities? Oh, oh wow. Oh, there's a lot of places we could go for activities, but not right now. Interesting. What else have we got here? We got player. So our main level has gone up. We saw that earlier. Wait, could, what happens if I put, click plus there? Oh, it gives us things that we could potentially go into. I have no idea how we would... So if I have a look at that. So these are like little buffs that... Um, okay, interesting. Well, we'll leave that be for just now. What's strength? Oh, we could take different things in strength. So we could learn either Gravedigger or Stronghold. What are these? Blocking an enemy's blow will cost you 30% less stamina. That sounds good. What's Gravedigger? Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina and they will burden you only half as much. I'm gonna say I'm thinking Stronghold sounds a little bit less odd. So we might just learn that one first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we learn more? No. No. Okay. Uh, I guess it's just saying that there are things under there that, we're, that we could potentially learn. Okay. So speech. How about that? We have nothing in speech that we can learn right now. Okay. Oh, like conditions? Ah, you have to get to like a certain level. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So if I go to combat, oh my god, we have skills in everything. We have skills in within skills. I like this. Okay. Buffs. We have a reputation, which is what? Scarlet's villagers think we're a hundred alright faces. I don't know. And then we got our statistics. And then we got our inventory, which is filled with apples and bread rolls. That is fantastic. Can we just eat that from there? So like, yeah, I just want to eat an apple. Yeah, there we go. 
you've now ate an apple. That's fine. And oh my god, there's so much in the codex. Um, we're gonna leave that for just now. We'll, we'll look at that if we need to. Um, what's through here? Oh, this is our, um, stores, I guess. We could go and steal all of our family's food and take it with us, but I suppose we'll just leave that be for just now. Close the door behind us. We can't take the scythe with us. Oh, okay. That's fine. And out into the world. So does our mother want to speak with us more? How are you, Henry? Uh, oh, nothing more to say to her. Well, that's fine. We'll just ignore her and walk away. So if I go drop into pot, does this mean we... Oh, we could drop, like, our apples into the pot and then that would change what the meal is? Interesting. So we have two potential things we can go to first. Our father or the sword fighting. Let's go speak to our father first. I suppose um, we don't want to make him angry. Hello. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Okay. Uh, persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. So, speech is straightforward, um, kind of, it's a check plus your reputation. Okay. Um, in the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference in how people respond to you. So I assume that would mean that, um, like, yeah, I suppose that could change in different circumstances. Sometimes you may want to seem like you're a lower status, sometimes you might want to seem like you're a higher status. I don't know. Interesting. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. Uh, that's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. Okay, so we may want to clean our clothes if we want people to not be afraid of us. You can sometimes rely on money to do talking for you. You just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping. Okay, so um, if, for instance, we're just very rich and we aren't very good at talking, we can use money. Okay. And if we're good at a skill, we can use the skills. That's fine. Fairly straightforward. It's not only a matter of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer. Because sometimes it's not enough to just choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to rely... You have to really read what Henry is going to say. Oh. Okay. And then we got this. Okay. But different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily. No matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't assigned a universal value, but compared with abilities of his counterpart. So it's kind of like a... Yeah, I understand. It's a your skill versus their skill thing in this check. You can see the values of various abilities in the game under the corresponding icon, so you can always see your own abilities. This is why I'm very excited to get into this game, because all of this... What in other games would seem like unnecessary levels of detail to a speech system. I, I'm, I'm into that. I like it. Okay, so uh, your counterpart's abilities are visible if you know someone well or if you're skilled at reading people. Okay, so um, either get to know people or get to get better at, uh, you know, speaking in general. So it's not just about the stats. The outcomes are influenced by other factors. Your reputation, dirty or bleeding. You can't undo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example. You may want to poison him a little first. Then he'll be easier to persuade. Uh, as long as he doesn't find out, I'd assume. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. I see. Uh, let's see how we do against our father. So... What are we going to go for? I wanted to have a look around. That's not going to fly. Our social status is not higher than our father's. I can work that out straight away. What's the matter? Didn't you hear me calling? I won't be ordered around, or I had to do something. Well, let, let's not be confrontational. Uh, let's just try and uh, talk him out of this. Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. 
not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunis, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Uh, okay. So we've, we've been given a full day's work. That's fine. Uh, most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Alright, we don't need to read the codex entry on that. That is a lot of things. Um, let's have a look at our map. So we got A, B, C, and D. So A, bag, buy charcoal, buy a bag of charcoal. Uh, buy ale, collect debt, pick up cross guard. Okay. So we could also, presumably, while we're at the tavern, go on our sword fighting lesson. Can we pick up, like, a hammer or something over here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Can we speak to our father more? Maybe? Uh, no, he's just gonna tell us the quest. That's fine. It's just kind of go and do what it says. Let's just, let's just go uh, A, B, C, and D. Just follow it pretty much the way it's given it to us. Oh, hello, random person. Can we speak to you? No. No, we cannot. Well, at least it tells us if we can speak to someone they're probably worth speaking to. Uh, yes. Okay, it's just telling us that we can look at quests. That's all okay. All right. I hope it will go even better. Are you here to buy? Indeed I am, or I'll have nothing to smelt the ore with, and the king won't get his silver. <laughs> Which king do you mean, Master Tobias? The one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon, or the one who holds the key to the dungeon? These are strange times. Strange and ill-omened. But since I serve our liege lord, Sir Radzik, I think you know the answer. True, but where will Sir Radzik take the silver? Hardly to Kuttenberg. Now its citizens bend their knees to Sigismund. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Perhaps Sir Radzig is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver, too. That makes two of us. But back to business. Ah, oh, interesting. So we're getting a good idea of what's going on in the local uh, world. So that's Charcoal Burner's helper. So presumably we could ask him to help us... Um, Maybe steal some bags? Possibly. Um, where is... Let's buy a bag of charcoal, buy a bag of... Ch uh, sword fighting lesson, okay. Buy ale, collect the debt. Oh, so we want to go this way and collect the debt. That's fine. Uh, is this his um, building? No, it's further along. Further along. Okay. Where are we going? Up in this way? I think so. Hello? Anybody around here? Ah, there he is. Say, you owe us money. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Uh, father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Okay. Um, I would like you to pay for the tools. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Um... I don't know. Let's see what we want to do. Maybe let's just continue trying to talk him out of it. Let's just try and convince him that this is what we want to... That he wants to do. Look... I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, 
and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Uh, alright then. That went really badly. Okay, combat. So, left click is slash or hook. Okay. Uh, right click is stab, jab. Okay, fine. So it's a jab and a hook. We can kick him away. Um, we can lock on. Let's not do that. We can also block. Okay, indicator shows how much health stuff has. That's wounds. Okay, health, stamina. We can choose to attack in a direction. But you can't attack in a grayed out direction. I have no idea. Let's try it. Oh, ah. ow. That hurt. Kick him. Oh. Ow. Oh, we got him. We got a punch in. Okay. Back. Oh, we got something there. Ergot. Kick him. Oh, he kicked me. Kick him. Punch him in the face. Just keep laying in. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I like it. Let's go to the right. Oh, up. Oh. Ow. 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 Okay. Well. Let's just go for jabs. Jab. Come like jab to the right. It. Nice. Okay. Okay. Wow. That is very rude. Right, let's jab. Jab. Oh, what is that? I kick him. Uh, ow. Ow. He kicks us quite a lot. I have no idea if we're doing well or not. Right. Uh, down. Oh. Oh. Keep laying into him. Oh. Okay, okay. Lost your win. This way. Mm. Ow. Ow. Oh dear. This is. Uh, hit him. Okay. Go look. Go to the right. Okay. Go low. Okay. New level in unarmed. Don't beat it. This is some fight. Okay. So it seems like the quicker attacks do work better on this guy. Okay, we also run out of stamina. Okay. I have absolutely no idea. He's looking fairly beat up. We are also looking fairly beat up. Okay, okay. Had enough of life, have you? Uh just wait a second or two. And Leon. Out. Down here. Oh, I forgot that we could block. Let's block. Out. Lock. Okay. Block. Uh, he's just going to kick us every time we try and block, isn't he? Go quick. Oh. That, look, that looked like that was good. Okay. Oh, just keep... Doing that. Oh, we got him. We got him. I think. Did we win? Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? We got his keys. Jesus, look Fantastic. where you're going. Uh, wait. So we can now go in his house and take the stuff? Can we take the axe? We can. We could take the axe. You know what? This is my axe now. Okay, my axe. Right, into his house. Take what he's got. See what he's got. We're collecting a debt. See, in here, nothing. All right. I think he might have been telling the truth when he said he had nothing. Yup. Okay. Please tell me he has something. One of these rooms? I mean, he has some food. You know what? We'll have some of that. We'll have some of that. Right. What else does he have? Oh. We're doing a load? Interesting. Hopefully we're good. Hopefully. Um. Alright. A little bit odd. And we're back. Fantastic. Um. So. Save before eating food. Got it. Does he actually have nothing in his house? 
He has nothing worth us take. He has a chest. Does he just have the axe? Is that all he has of worth in his house? Come on. He must have more. All right, blacksmiths for Anything you else? Better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Yeah, I've been trying to take what I want, but you have nothing. You have nothing at all. How about over here? Maybe he owns this building as well? Still has nothing. Well, I mean, I have his axe. Is that all we're taking? It's not really, uh... Hey. Hey. All right, Black nah. Smith, okay. Boy, you got the better of me. I... Oh, wait. Do you have something else? No, he has door. He just has nothing in his house worth taking. Uh... Why did he even fight us over it then? Just say, here, go into my house, take whatever you like. There's nothing here. Yeah. My god. He is penniless. Completely and utterly. I don't even know what we could take from him. Unless he's got, like, another building. Yes, he has nothing. Well... We'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.